We're going to learn how to blur edges in Adobe Captures for your patterns that have those edges. So we're going to go to your app. This is Adobe Capture. You're going to tap on that. Then what we're going to do next is we're going to go and import an image from your camera roll, from your gallery. So first make sure that you're in patterns up here at the top and we want to go to the plus at the bottom here, at the bottom right next to the camera to the left. That plus, you're going to tap on that plus to import the, the import the image from your camera roll. Here it says import image. You're going to tap on that little option. Once you do that, it's going to show you your camera roll. Make sure you select camera roll, option number one at the top here. And that's going to give, it's going to give you access to your camera roll. And then what we're going to do is wait for that to load. And we're going to locate the images here. I'm, I'm in a folder called Snapseed, which is what I used quite often. Uh, if you don't see that, you, you can hit the little thing on the right of the Snapseed thing to get your photo so you can navigate to your corresponding folder. So I want to go for this image. And then what I need to do is I need to select one of the options here on the left hand side, just here as so pointing by the arrow. I need to tap on that one in order to gain access to the different ways I can tile. I want the bottom one, which looks like a grid. That's going to give me the grid option so I can tile my image in the grid way. On the right hand side in the middle, there's a circle and a tick mark. I need to tap on that in order to go to the next screen, which is going to give me access to the tiled image at the very top. And at the very bottom, I have the sets of controls. The one I want is the bottom one in the circle, bottom one, bottom slider. That's going to allow me to blur the edges. So I'm going to show you quickly how we have those elements. So if I zoom in, I pinched and zoom at the very top box, you can see that I have a horizontal obvious edging here. And if I go to the very bottom slider at the bottom of the screen, that's going to give me access to how far I want to blur that obvious um, border between the tiling of the actual pattern. So if I move that towards the right, notice how it increases the possibility of merging that blur. So the further you go, notice that that particular blur is gone. So what I need to do now is go to the top right arrow in blue, top right hand side. That's going to give me access to my um, library. Just to let you know that there is currently, as of May 2021, there's a slight glitch. Hopefully when you download it, it won't happen. But there's a slight glitch in saving. Normally what you would do is you would save and it would save it into your library. This is pattern three. It should save it normally, but there is a glitch currently in, in the mid-May 2021. Should hopefully be corrected by the time you get there. So let's assume it's going to save it. We're going to go to another pattern just to finish off the tutorial. So that should have saved it to your library. And once that's done, we are going to use another one. Notice that there is a glitch. It's not showing up there. So what we're going to do, I refreshed. So where did it go? Again, it's a glitch. So what we're going to do is go for another pattern and the two that we have up there. And we're going to go and save that particular tileable pattern into our device. OK, so we're going to tap on that and notice that, that I have various options. And what we want is the export as because we wanted to export it as an actual tileable image that then we can take somewhere else, such as an online service. So I've gone to, I'm going to go to export as, and can you see here at the bottom left, it says pattern tile. Once you do that, you're going to get a pop up top left with the arrow pointing down into like a little tray, top left arrow pointing down into a little tray, gives you the option to save it locally to your device. So you want to tap that top left little arrow pointing down into a tray. And here you can select which particular camera roll folder you want. OK, so currently it's in downloads. You can actually go there or you can go to the top right to actually create a folder in which you're going to save that image into. It's all up to you. So the way you want to do it, organize your work is up to you. So here again, just showing you that it's in downloads. And I can go here and see there's the new folder option top right three vertical dots. So let me annotate that for you just as a reminder. Look, these are all the images that are here. All in downloads, but I may not want that. So once again, I'm going to make sure it's in my SD card just to save memory from the internal uh, device. 
uh, if you get that option in your I uh, Android, just go for that. I don't know about iOS because I don't have an iOS device, such as an uh, iPad or iPhone. So once I've done that, I can actually look at the different folders. You may want to drop into another folder you're already using. But like me, you may want to create an actual folder. So make sure you go to the three vertical dots on the top right to do that. So let me show you that in a minute. So it's here. Remember, vertical dots. You have all those options, but I'm just showing you the ones for you will organize your work wherever you want. OK, so let me just go up here. Top right. You see, here it says new folder. And what I want to do is make sure I go to new folder. And that's going to save into a new folder. Again, this is step by step for those who are not um, that confident. So I want that little new folder and I'm going to give it a name. I get a pop up and I'm just going to give it a name here. And once you do that, you see at the bottom right, there's a little OK thing that allows you to create the new folder. And there's no item and then you can save there. But what I want to do is I don't want to save, I actually want to rename that. So I'm going to tap on that name that says pattern, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just going to go from the left side, keep the .png and give it a new name. Let's say pattern name for now. Pattern name one or ID, whatever you want to call it, save. And that with the bottom right here, make sure you save again, save that. And that's going to save that particular pattern name to your identified folder that you've selected as we've seen. So once again, be aware that there's a glitch. Thank you so much for listening. Have a look at the other videos. Thank you so much.